Recognize this game? I know what you're thinking. Just another Minecraft clone. But actually the reverse is true. This week's free indie is Infiniminer. <laughs> Infiniminer is a competitive multiplayer mining game with a Lego-like block-based environment. According to the creator, Zach Barth, it is meant to be a combination of Motherload, Team Fortress 2, and Infinifrag, a game that he had previously released. In Infiniminer, you play as one of four classes, the Miner, the Engineer, the Prospector, and the Sapper. The Miner can dig fast and carry lots of gold. The Engineer can build large assortments of blocks that the other classes can't. The prospector can detect gold and diamonds and mark where the miners should dig. The sappers can plant bombs to sabotage the opponent team. The objective of the game is to mine gold and jewels and bring them to the surface. The first team to achieve a certain dollar amount wins. Infiniminer is an amazingly fun game. It's technical and team oriented. The classes are balanced and designed to rely on and interact with one another in a way that makes the game feel social. There is no direct combat in the game, which I think improves the gameplay because instead of simply walking into a room and instantly killing your opponent, you must stalk them, trick them, and stealthily plan out their undoing in a way that feels much more like you're in a spy film. And uh, at the same time, although you are playing competitively, you do feel a sense of exploration and creativity that is reminiscent of another game. Yes, Minecraft is a clone of Infiniminer and not the other way around. In fact, the now multi-billion dollar worth game designer Notch is quoted saying on a video he posted of his game, this is a very early test of an Infiniminer clone I'm working on. It will have more resource management and materials, if I ever get around to finishing it. Infiniminer creator Zach Barth responds, the act of borrowing ideas is integral to the creative process. There are games that came before Infiniminer, and there are games that will come after Minecraft. That's how it works. And I think he's right. Well, anyway, guys, that's the free indie for the week. Download links will be in the description. If I had to say there is one thing wrong with this game, it would be that there are not enough people playing. So don't forget to share this video with your friends and subscri subscribe to see new free indies every week. I'll see you guys next time.